بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز دیو آپس انجینئر ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین سیٹ اپ دا کمپلیٹ اے ڈبلیو ایس وی پی سی اینڈ الانگ ود دیٹ کمپلیٹ الاسٹک کوبرنیٹیز کلسٹر اینڈ دا ادر لاسٹ آپشن از گوئنگ ٹو بی دا ای ایل بی انگریس سیٹ اپ ود آل with the single command so uh, we are going to set up uh, all stuff with the single command so i have uh, provided you the code um, and also i'm going to provide the link as well uh, you have to simply uh, download the code and and i'm going to show you how you can do that as well so uh, you have to navigate uh, to this uh, link <coughs> excuse me and simply download the complete Terraform code. So let me download the code. This is the way you can zip or you can um, do cl clone and cloning as well, or uh, you can fork the repository as well. So if I navigate uh, to my download section, uh, this is the comp uh, complete code uh, which we are going to set up uh, Okay, I have already downloaded the code and replace it and no show sure that. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract uh, the code here. Um, so uh, in this code, uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, modules uh, which are available, but the main target uh, module for this demonstration is going to be uh, these two modules. So, uh, uh, but Jenkins, uh, I might not uh, include in this demo. So let's uh, give it, uh, place, this, place this in a side. So uh, we are going to set up uh, the EKS cluster, the ALB and the complete VPC with a single command. So uh, let's uh, navigate into this particular directory and if I do ls simply navigate to environment and go to depth and okay if I do ls so uh, what I have done here I have created the complete automated scripts uh, which are going to uh, deploy the elastic uh, Kubernetes cluster and uh, application load balancer as an ingress in our cluster so uh, definitely you have to uh, modify i mean you have to give your cluster name and the size range is uh, which you like and the key which you want to give so uh, let me uh, first apply the command and i will show you the code as well terraform and i'm first of all i have to initialize it will download the relevant plugins and then i will do terraform apply dash dash or to approve so you guys uh, are watching everything uh, i'm giving a single command for all this uh, setup so uh, this is going to be you know initial work for any environment uh, so you have to adjust according to your so let's see the command as well terraform init and then terraform apply dash dash auto dash approve and ctl and this hopefully the command is okay so this is the single command and it is going to be uh, uh, launched sequentially and uh, apply the relevant you know resources in our in our VPC and in our account. So let me navigate to the VPC section, okay. So uh, the VPC is going to be the custom VPC and it is going to launch a cluster into that custom VPC. And other than that, uh, what it is gonna do, uh, it will uh, start the 
EKCTL utility and started the and will start the cloud formation templates. So everything is automated. Let's uh, move to uh, VPC. So what I have done here, I have reduced the time uh, for the ELB ingress setup for, I guess if you do it uh, manually, it takes about uh, an hour. So, so there is some connectivity issue, I guess, uh, but it will be uh, done quickly with my script. So guys, uh, our cluster, uh, sorry, our VPC creation is started. Uh, it has downloaded the relevant uh, modules. So now VPC creation is started. If I navigate to my um, VPC section and just refresh it. So this is my uh, custom VPC and it is going to use the EKCTL uh, utility. And I will show you that uh, four cloud formation templates are going to be uh, set up, but definitely and uh, that is going to be the next command so uh, Till the VPC creation um, Is done uh, What I'm gonna do and uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I will show you that uh, the ELB ingress is also going to be automatically uh, set up so you have to uh, put uh, one single um, command in that and um, and also I've uh, done a little more automation in that that all your uh, VPC ID and um, the rest of the stuff is going to be displayed uh, uh, displayed in that particular uh, script so uh, uh, I just run one command in front of you and everything uh, is you know sequentially deployed so currently we don't have any uh, stack in our uh, AWS account so uh, okay the network gate is created okay if I show you the subnets uh, these all uh, all are my um, subnets and let me show you my uh, BPC only so simply uh, refresh it uh, just a minute refresh the page and so I can select my own VPC from here so VPC is not actually uh, fully deployed so that's why it's not showing here so so the guys uh, in the next step you see uh, we have successfully uh, successfully deployed the our VPC and if I navigate to this section, you see I'm able to see my VPC. I'm going to select that, and this is my custom VPC. Now uh, I can select my you know subnets. So these are all are my custom subnets. You see proper tagging uh, are there. So you have to simply download the code and apply according to your needs and um, tags, whatever tags you like. So this is the route tables, and uh, there uh, is. Uh, internet gateways so uh, the different uh, here as a uh, uh, I, as I want to tell you that uh, there are uh, special tags are attached uh, in this uh, VPC which are relevant to the EKCTL utility so um, let me show you the uh, those tags as well um, we go to the subnets and go to subnets uh, these are the tags which are attached automatically attached uh, which are required and must need for your um, ingress and application um, you know application load balancer is going to be set up so uh, same as on the NAT gateway uh, NAT gateway uh, we are using and uh, the tag is going to be associated with uh, uh, these as well so uh, which are relevant to e EKCTL utility so uh, you see our cluster creation has uh, begun and then our ELB ingress is also going to be automatically uh, set up. So uh, as you know guys, uh, this will take about 10 minutes or so. So definitely I have to pause the video uh, and once everything is uh, set up and deployed, I will show you the next command 
and uh, and also show you the vpc id it is going to be automatically populated uh, so you have to simply put that and um, edit the deployment accordingly so till then i'm going to pause the video so uh, as you see this is the combination of terraform and eksctl so i, I have combined all these uh, powerful tools uh, together along with the batch scripting eks uh, ctl cli cube ctl cli so everything is uh, uh, in an automated way so um, i will be back in few minutes so guys uh, we are uh, very much near uh, with regard to the deployment of our eks uh, cluster with the cli so let me refresh it the cluster uh, state in progress and once all done you will be able to see the four uh, cloud formation stacks here so let me refresh okay so still in progress i just want to show you that the cluster uh, is created eks cluster with the cloud formation stack so i have to pause the video again and uh, the fourth uh, stack is going to be with regard to the aws uh, alb ingress which is going to be automatically set up here so till then i have to pause the video so creation uh, definitely takes some time so guys our cluster creation uh, is set up now it is going to run the third command which is the bash script uh, and it is going to set up the alb as an ingress controller automatically in our uh, aws account so this is how you can uh, use this code and uh, navigate to my repository uh, and i'm going to show you the backend as well so uh, this is the three uh, cloud formation stacks are deployed the fourth one is in progress once set up uh, once it's done uh, uh, we are going to simply edit it so if i say kubectl uh, get pods in namespace cube system it will it will tell us that uh, um, alb ingrex uh, it give it give us uh, an error so uh, the automation here uh, i done is that uh, this is the cluster name uh, this is my cluster name uh, okay. this is my vpc id if i navigate to my vpc id let me show you the vpc id so you will see uh, this is the VPC ID um, and uh, this is the AWS region. So simply uh, copy this command uh, and navigate to line 41 or I will t uh, tell you that which line uh, you have to edit. I mean it for this stuff simply copy this uh, line. So uh, I can go from there or uh, this is our VPC ID uh, 2E 29EF so um, uh, 29EF this is our uh, VPC ID so I'm going to simply copy uh, this command and then press enter before pressing the enter I'm going to copy this stuff which I'm going to simply paste uh, into the deployment uh, for addition so uh, uh, this is the container uh, arguments press here and navigate to this uh, first dash simply uh, make sure this is the yaml file so uh, there should be no spaces otherwise you know there will be uh, an error as well so uh, guys this is uh, how uh, we set up our uh, alb as ingress and cluster all in automated way uh, through our terraform um, script so uh, make sure you have this uh, sort of uh, 
shape when you save your uh, file so press ctrl s for saving this file and it will show here that uh, the file is uh, edited so uh, let's see uh, sorry i uh, press the same command again simply close there wait for it and now i'm going to uh, press ctrl c and uh, we are going to see the logs which logs are uh, coming as far as for the alv ingress as a load balancer so uh, it is saying uh, successfully uh, set up everything uh, and we are going to uh, also see the alb uh, ingress pod as well so simply copy this command and put it here so this is how we can set up the alb ingress as a load balancer in an automated way everything we have done with a single command all in auto automated way the code is available for you please like share and subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day